Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to a game called Pal World. If you have not heard of this game, the best way to describe it would be to take Valheim and combine that with Pokemon, and maybe a little bit of Monster Hunter, looking at some of the technology that seems to be going on here in Pal World. This game is an early access game, it's available today actually as of yesterday on Steam as well as the Xbox Game Pass. I used to be a big fan of Pokemon when I was younger, spent thousands of hours in Pokemon, but what happened is that I changed and games changed, but Pokemon never really changed. It kind of just redid the same formula over and over and over again. I am also a big Valheim fan, so I'm looking forward to checking this game out and seeing exactly what it has to offer. As always, I'll be trying to provide just a chill, relaxing, immersive experience for you guys. So I hope you join me here today in Pal World. Let's go ahead and we'll jump right in. I did a little bit of testing to get some settings dialed in and feel out the controls and stuff like that, but mostly everything is gonna be new to me. Let's go with Rambles. Island. There you go. Uh, we're going to do normal difficulty for now. Multiplayer off. And so we do have some character creation here. We have two different body types, <laughs> male and female, A and B, whatever you prefer. You can adjust some sliders here, arm, leg, and torso sizes. That is all well and good. Let's just go with something pretty basic here. Uh, let's see. That seems good. What kinds of hair options do we have? I'm not gonna spend a ton of time in the character creator. A lot of times we're gonna be looking at the character from behind. We're going to be looking at our gear and our backpack and stuff like that. So I won't spend too much time here, but you get a little bit of an idea. Now, it, with it being an early access game, they are bound to add more customizations and more things to the game over time. So I'm sure some of this will change. You can do custom color, which is actually a really nice feature. I like that. Uh, we have eye shapes. We can do eye color down this way. Let's go with something like that. Uh, voice. That seems fine. Let's just go ahead and let's jump right in. The towers are the key. The tree holds the truth. Of course it does. Looks like our Pokedex slash Poke Tablet. Uh, okay, we washed up on a beach, but now we are in a cave. Windswept hills. That felt like a little Zelda chime. We've got a chickpea here. Uh, I'm not gonna try to do anything with him yet. We have a fast travel point. We've acquired a technology point. We also have some tutorial objectives up in the top right. Pick up a fallen branch, hit some trees to get wood. Open the menu, check the survival guide. We can do that really quick. So the survival guide looks like it has every single thing you could ever want to read about in the game. We've got the build menu. Uh, we can build a primitive workbench, but we need some wood. Uh, we could build right down here. This seems like a pretty obvious place to begin building our first base. And I, and I think I will do that. 
Uh, we could scout a little bit further out, but if we look around, I think a lot of the core initial building materials we need are right here. Uh, and that is to say that we might move our base later, but this seems like an okay place to begin. If we look around, we have some wood on the ground. We also have some red berries, so let's run around and let's collect things for a little bit. And we'll go from there. Alright, let's see if we can make our crafting table. Primitive workbench. That seems like a pretty decent place for it, so we'll hold F to build. I do have some of the sound effects and some of the voices turned down. I feel like a lot of the sound design in this game is still a work in progress. I think a lot of the sound effects, the music and stuff, obviously a lot of stuff is going to improve and change over time. So at the workbench, we can build some tools. We need some wood right now. The first things I want to do, I want to build basically all of this. Uh, maybe not the torch. I haven't really seen a need for a torch yet. But let's gather some wood and probably some more stone. And let's build all of our basic implements. Not sure if maybe I can punch the trees for some wood. I'm not sure that works in Vel. It is working in this too. Say so it works in Velheim. Getting some fiber as well. All right. Let's see if maybe we can at least make an axe. I'm just going to take a minute and I'm going to chop down a few of the trees right in the area so we have a little bit of a surplus of wood. Alright, that should be good for now. Uh, for the pickaxe, we do need to pick up some more stone, so let's go do that. Apparently we've already reached a weight capacity. We're carrying too many items. If we craft a little bit, that might help. Yeah, see, right now we can't sprint. So we're gonna have to build storage pretty soon. Unfortunately, we can't quite do that yet.
And we'll build a wooden club as well. We will be needing to bash in the faces of some of these cute little monsters around us eventually here. Let's follow some of the tutorial prompts and go into our technology tree. This is where we unlock new patterns. So the pail box is going to be important. This is a facility for storing captured pails. Pails inside to gradually recover HP. Area around this facility becomes a base. Uh, the pail spheres are basically like Pokeballs. Basic model only effective on lower level pails. Uh, we've got a campfire that allows us to make simple food. And a wooden chest. We need that because apparently we are already overburdened. Uh, we could do wooden structure set to let us build a house of our own. Uh, straw pail bed, that's going to be important as well. A shoddy bed for ourselves. Cloth, let's do... Uh, and probably the repair bench would be good. And that's all the points that we have for right now. And maybe we ought to build a storage chest. Insufficient materials. We need some more stone. We can we can resolve that. But not here at that pile. Let's head to this pile over here. Now, from what I understand, if we have a chest near a work table, the work table will be able to access anything stored in the chest. So we shouldn't have to do too much running back and forth between the chests when we're building stuff. Uh, and that being said, we could probably just dump most things in here for now. And there we go. We need Paldeum Fragments to make some of our Pale Spheres. Uh, we could do a campfire, we need more wood. Uh, now I thought we would have access, so the build menu, apparently the build menu might not get access to our chest. I thought that it did, uh, but maybe that's only the work table. Alright, it wants us to craft a pale sphere, uh, but we need the Paldium for that, so let's head over this way. And we should be able to find some, yeah, right over here. This blue-gray mineral is Paldium. I'm not sure what this is or if we can mine this yet. This is ore, okay. I'm not sure what this is used for, but let's grab some of it. And then we're also going to need some fibers, which we seem to be getting when we chop down trees.
Let's get some more stones and then we'll build our pail box. The pail box kind of determines the area that your base is going to be considered in. It also allows you to store your pails. And from here, we can also view missions. Deploy a work pail to the base. We've already built the wooden chest. Let's go ahead and make three of these right away. Alright, so now we're ready to try to catch our first pail. Let's head down the hill here. Uh, we can also, if you look in the bottom left, we have our health in green. We have a hunger meter in orange. And then we have like a cold and hot meter. We're probably going to have to manage that stuff. Uh, we don't have any food yet, so we can't do anything about that just yet. But we will be getting some food, I believe, once we have done some combat. So let's head down here and see what we can do. So you want to weaken them, and then when they're pretty low on HP, you can press Q if you're on the keyboard. That'll throw out the pale ball. And, uh, and we caught him. We could summon him out. We don't need to. Now, they can fight for you, I believe, but they don't have to fight for you. Obviously, we are more than capable of doing some fighting for ourselves. Uh, we got a guy back here glowing yellow. I'm not sure why. Now, he's, he's a level 4. Maybe that's denoting like a level difference. Let's see if we can handle him. This might be a little bit more than we can chew right now. We might have wanted to stick to somebody a little bit of a lower level. <laughs> yeah, okay. Pretty cool dodge roll there. Now I actually have to be able to hit him. I don't know that that's going to actually capture him, but I might need to run away. We might be about to find out what happens when we die. This is what happens when you die. <laughs> uh, where are we going to respawn? I don't know. So don't take on... Don't take on a level 4 when you're just starting off. Now we know. It's a good little tutorial on exactly what happens when you die. Let's see if we can run back and we can pick up all of our stuff. Not really a big deal this early. Let's try something more appropriate to our level. <laughs> oh, 
All right, we wasted the third ball trying to capture the level four guy, so let's head back to base. We will have to make some more pale spheres to come back out. Uh, in this general area, there are three different types of pales. So we're probably going to want to capture one of each. Each pale obviously has different stats, different abilities, and they also have uh, different strengths and weaknesses as far as what they can do to help you around your base. And we'll have a look at that here in a second. If we go to our pal box here, uh, we can manage what pals are active at the base. At this level, we only have one slot. Let's take out our cat Tiva. Uh, if we want a closer look at this, we can do we can press F, and we can see they have work suitability over here. So this is the things that they can help us with at our base. They will be doing some things for us. This guy can gather, he can mine, handiwork. I believe he can help out with crafting and then transporting, like moving food from a farm to a food box, for instance. So, and then over here we have his abilities. He's got Punch Flurry, which is a, it's, he's a neutral type pale, so that's a neutral type attack. He's also got some passive skills. He's a coward, so that's negative 10% attack power. And he has a bottomless stomach, so he's harder to satiate. Uh, if we take a look at the Lamb Ball, we can see that uh, he has handiwork, transporting, and he is going to help us with farming once we get that going. So let's go ahead and we will pull out the Cadiva. There we go. And so he's going to run off and he is going to start doing stuff. We can see their condition over in the top right. He's in good condition right now. So when they're hungry, if they're tired, we will see that status uh, update over in that area. They want us to eat some food to stave off hunger, so we can actually eat some berries. We'll give that to the player. You can see that filled up our hunger bar a little bit. Uh, what else do we want to do here as far as tutorial quest? We can open up our inventory here. And we've leveled up, so we actually have some stat points to spend. We'll click on Enhance Stats, and early on I think we want to increase the weight. We've already run into problems with how much we can carry, so for now... I'm going to dump everything into weight capacity. And we'll just set about crafting some various things here. As you can see, he's come over to help us craft. That moves the bar even faster that he's helping us. We've lifted him. Okay, we threw him. Okay, he doesn't seem to mind, thankfully. We've lifted him again. Let's get him out of our way a little bit here. I want to grab the bow. Uh, we need arrows, but we need some more stone. Uh, we also have glowy stuff over here. Oh, this is the perimeter of our base. Okay, that's what the blue line denotes. That is our base perimeter. Now we can build a little home for ourselves. I don't think it's like incredibly important early on that we do this. But just to kind of demonstrate what we can do, we will check this out. Uh, we're going to need a lot more wood. So let's take our axe and let's go chop down wood. Hopefully we'll get some fibers too because we need fibers to make beds.
And yeah, building is pretty simple. Let's... Put a roof on it. Well, it would be simple if we can get it to rotate properly. If I do that... Yeah, it's just not, not quite rotating the way I would want it to. Hmm. Well then, let's try over here. You'd think we could just snap it on and it would, it would know what we want. I'm not really sure why it's orienting itself that way. That is a little bit confusing. See how it just like flips itself back. All right, well, maybe we will have to come back to that. I'm not exactly sure why that's happening. Uh, we need wool. How do we get wool? Uh, it doesn't really seem to say yet how we do that. All right, let's come out here and we should probably make a bed for our guy. He's uh, he's still in good condition, but without beds, they will get stressed. Uh, and if we get away from the fire when it's night out, we will get cold. Let's keep it in the warm zone. I feel like that would be a good idea. Now we can do a base upgrade because we met some objectives here, so let's do that. That's going to allow us to put more pails to work at our base. So as you can see, we've now opened up another slot. Let's pull out our lamb ball and then he'll get going. That also means that we're going to need to build a bed for him too. He, he took the bed that we made. Okay, perfect. Now we have to remember to keep coming back into our technology tree when we have points to spend because there's more stuff here that we're going to need to unlock. I think I want to unlock this outfit. If we take a look at the description, it protects against the cold of night. So we want to get that going, get some clothing on us as, as soon as we can. We're also going to need a feed box to feed our pails. Uh, alarm bells, large defensive wall that protects from enemy invasions. There's going to be enemy invasions apparently, guys. Uh, that could be important. Hanging trap catches pails that pass through it. Very cool. Um, let's go ahead and unlock the, s the spear. Uh, also, there's a shield. That would have been nice, too. We need a lot more resources. What does it take for us to build our clothing so we can not freeze to death out here? Uh, we need more cloth. Yeah, not, not really... Not really a big surprise. We we need wool. I'm assuming that we get wool from the uh, from the lamb balls. Maybe we should go fight some more of them. If I had a bed, I would probably sleep for the night. But we don't have a bed. That's not on the table. Uh, okay. I wonder if if we if we fire an arrow, can we get it back? Let's have a look here. Hmm. 
doesn't really seem like we can recover it. We are also getting hungry, I notice. We're going to want to solve that soon. Apparently our stats decrease while we're hungry. Uh, yeah, the problem is we don't have anything to eat. We are going to have to venture out. Feel a little bad, but we need meat and we need wool. Ah. Alright, we can jump in the water, but we can't combat in the water, so that's good to know. Oh, apparently there's different types of pails that come out at night. Look at these guys. Some of these guys seem aggressive. We've got a who crates and a, day a daydream. It looks like the sun is coming back up at least. Oh, this is just the body. If we get in here and we grab these berries, maybe we can just eat those. It doesn't give us a lot of food, but it's, a, it's enough to stave off some hunger. And then we'll want to cook some meat at the cooking fire, at the campfire. Ah, uh, this guy is, uh, he's level 4, kind of the same issue we ran into with the other level 4. Which is that he, he might be... Might be a little bit too much for us to handle. Especially with our limited stamina. Uh, I think I'm gonna bail on that fight. We've got a couple of guys pretty angry at us now, actually. Don't fight level 4 guys with the current weapons. Got it, got it. Let's see if maybe now we can build that shoddy bed. We do have a quest objective to do so. Uh, we need wood. Okay, we can fix that easily enough.
It goes much faster when they help us build. So we met those objectives, we can do another base upgrade. Next it wants us to build a feed box and build another uh, straw bed. We've got two out of the three, we need one more. And then we also probably want to build some more pale spheres so we can go catch some more pails. Take the arrows, that'd be good. So we can make some lamb ball kebabs with the meat that we have. Let's go ahead and do that. And that being actual food, it filled up quite a chunk of our food meter, so that's good. All right, let's go out, let's catch uh, one of the chickens. And it'd probably be a good idea to catch a few other things as well. We do have a quest to capture five lamb balls. Uh, there's a level 16 guy back there. We're going to avoid him. Yeah. Um, it says no spheres available. Maybe I didn't grab the ones off the crafting bench. You, you have to not only craft them, you have to remember to pick them up. And so far, I've been pretty bad at remembering to pick them up. But that's okay. We got some mutton off of these guys. And so the chickpeas can gather and they can do farming. Speaking of farming, we might want to see if we can farm pretty soon here. Let's check the building menu. So yeah, we got the feed box. We need wood. We don't seem to have farms unlocked yet.
Our weapon is damaged. We we will probably need to fix that. Now there was a repair station we could make. And yeah, there we go, that's back to full durability. Let's grab the spheres that we never grabbed. And if we, if we make another cloth, we can finally build our clothing. Let's do that. Uh, he's kind of body blocking me here, so we'll let him go ahead and make that for us. And there we go. Now we have uh, actual clothing on. We've got a pretty cool looking backpack. And now when it's nighttime, we won't immediately freeze to death. Uh, we do want to build another bed. We need wood. We, ha we need an endless supply of wood. It'd be nice if some of these guys could chop down wood for us. And the game is trying to tell me that I have some unused stat points. Uh, maybe we go into HP a little bit. That's about all we can do for now. Uh, technology, is there anything else we want to unlock? I feel like the repair kits would be good. Shield would probably be good. Alarm bell. Just kind of gonna kind of unlock all these in order, you know. It, it feels like you could probably pick and choose, but this seems best. Wooden living furniture set, decorative furniture. Place furniture in your living space and enjoy life with your pails. Might hold off on some of the decorative stuff and focus on stuff that uh, has a function for now. Let's get our third bed up here. And then we need to build a feed box. And then moving some food to it would probably be a good idea. We'll put some berries in it. The berry seeds I think we need for uh, for the farm. So we'll hang on to the seeds for now. Let's 
So now we need to build a berry plantation and deploy one more pail. We got three out of four. We need one more to work at the base. What do we have over here? It looks like some kind of a treasure chest. Gold coins, arrows, and small pale stones. A spirit left behind by a small pale, it can draw out hidden abilities if offered to a statue of power. And then the gold coins are currency traded on Palpagos Island. It can be exchanged for items or pails with merchants. So there will be merchants. That is really good to know. Whoops, I was trying to capture him. Ah, uh, we have level fives over here. Plant type and rock type, maybe? And then we have a Kremis, another normal type. I'm, ki I'm kind of wary of the high level guys. I feel like I want to wait until I at least make the spear. Maybe that'll be a little bit more damage, uh, allowing us to do some damage and actually capture them quickly before they beat our faces in too much. Alright, for now, I, I don't want to get too far from the base. I've got one more sphere left. I'd like to use it on our last out of five land balls. I just haven't seen another land ball. Some more arrows, some more coins. We are hungry. 
Let's eat a berry just to stave off hunger for now. Uh, and then we'll do some cooking once we get back to base. Now, I know we can climb a little bit. I wonder if there's like free climbing. Like for instance, can I climb straight up this wall? We can. Oh man, that is so cool. I like that a lot. Very nice. And here we go. Let's try to capture this guy. That should be five out of five. Let's go ahead and we'll craft a spear. I'm hoping I could do a spear in one hand and a shield in the other. That would be ideal. And we need more wood. We are uh, habitually short of wood. I don't really know if it's worth it to cook all these at a time or just cook them as we need them because I think there is spoilage so over time it will probably go bad. Let's make two of them and then maybe we'll leave the rest of them in queue. Uh, who's going to be the most useful to us? He can transport, craft, and gather. We need to build the berry plantation. Except I'm not seeing exactly how we would do that yet. Maybe it's something we need to unlock in our technology tree. A logging site, berry plantation, yeah, there it is. 
normal parachute and a ranch. Let's do the ranch also. And I think that's going to be fine for now. A logging site, I'm pretty sure, just gives us infinite access to wood. It's like it regrows the trees so we can keep uh, keep chopping down the wood. Not really important early on. I don't think we have access to quite a bit of wood uh, as it is. So for the berry plantation now, what do we need? Oh, we need wood, <laughs> of course. And then we have some unspent points here. Let's let's level up attack a little bit. Yeah, that's all that's all we can do. That attack did not go up very much. It's probably not worth it early on to level up our attack too much. We should probably focus on HP, stamina, and weight. Maybe even uh, work speed wouldn't be bad. Uh, well, we're being weighed down by too many items. Which is a shame. I wonder if we can just build our plantation right over here would be almost perfect. This is kind of the area that I was eyeballing. If I can move it up to like the edge of the dirt area. That would be ideal. Let's shift it like right here would be good. Alright, so now we need to plant some seeds. Not sure like what determines like how many seeds we can put here. It's, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what's happening here. Oh, I see. It's just we have to do it until we're f until it's full. I, I wasn't looking at the normal area, but yeah, I see the the circle now filling up. We just keep doing this until it plants uh, the entire plot, I guess. And apparently, none of our pails can help us with planting right now. There we go. And now we water it with what appears to be a, a watering can, but actually sprays out water more like a more like a fire hose. Actually, that's interesting. Again, a lot of the a lot of the things in the game are going to change over time. This is early access. And the devs stated that the, the game will probably be in early access for at least a year. So over time, we're going to see lots of stuff change. So if you see something that's a little bit weird, some of the sounds are a little bit weird, some of the graphics are a little weird, all of it's going to get get changed. All of it's going to grow and develop over time. So uh, I really, I like the soul of this game. It's, it's really interesting and it's like easy to pick up and start to get into. And I'm, uh, I'm excited to see it kind of grow and change over time. And so now it's growing all on its own. So we shouldn't have to do anything else. I think a couple of our guys can, uh, can harvest. Who can, who can harvest? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the cat of us that can do like the harvesting. Yeah, while well, gathering, I think that it, once it plants the crop, they should be able to gather from it. Although it doesn't say farming. Maybe we need, maybe we need chickens for farming. That could be. Now it is, it is nighttime. I wonder, we can go out at night now. We're not going to freeze. But I wonder if maybe we could sleep and just kind of see. Uh, it cannot be used without a roof. Yeah, the roof was, uh, the roof was causing us some problems. Most definitely. Like, if only it would snap the other way. I, I just can't seem to figure out how to do that. Maybe if I approach it from, like, outside. And no, look how it snaps the wrong way no matter what I do. Isn't that just so odd? Like, it's the right way. We, we have it perfectly how we want it. 
and it snaps to the wrong way. I just, I don't really understand that. It's, it's got to be something I'm doing wrong. You know, it's, it can't be that you can't do this. What I'm trying to do should be completely doable. Yeah, I'm looking at the controls at the bottom. It says that we could rotate it. It's just like once it snaps, rotating it doesn't do anything. That's the problem. Now, I guess we're not going to sleep until we can figure out how to get this built. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, not at all what we wanted. I wonder if we can even like destroy stuff. Like once I build this, can I break it apart? Yes, I can. I can, I can break the whole thing apart, in fact. Huh, so... Let's, let's get the wall built. It almost seems like there should just be a different piece that, like, that attaches a, a different way. That's so weird. Um, what else could we try? It also does not seem to want to allow us to put a roof on it, which is also in incredibly weird. Yeah, the, the roof doesn't want to attach to anything. There's gotta be some trick. Maybe you guys will know, maybe some of you guys are actually playing the game and, and can give me some hints. I know with it being early access, it's there's not like a ton of resources right now for like little problems like this. Like it can attach here. I don't need it to attach here. I, I really need it to attach up at the top. Oh, we're on fire. That's good. Don't run through the fire. You will be, you will be on fire. Yeah, you think like simple things that you think should work. Like this should be able to attach right to here, but it can't. So yeah, for right now, oh, we're not sleeping. We're not going to be able to sleep. Uh, which could start to cause problems. I'm not sure if we get tired uh, or not. One of our guys is feeling down because of bad working conditions. I'm not really sure if that's because he doesn't have a bed. Yeah, they get stressed without beds. So we need to make sure that when we put a new guy to work on our place, we have a bed for him. All right, we could harvest this ourselves. I'm kind of curious to see if any of them harvest it. Build a pale gear workbench. All right, we could we could probably do that. Uh, we could put another lamb ball to work. And then kind of the same thing there. We, we need to make sure that he also has a bed. He just went straight up and took that bed right away. What's really funny is we got, we got, we, we have the roof we need, right? Like this, these are the parts we need. We just need like them to be on opposing sides. That's like the really funny thing about what's going on is like we can clearly we can get it to do what we want, but not not really. It just snaps it right back into that that shape. Oh, that's so unusual. Yeah, I don't I don't understand that at all. Oh my gosh. Huh. Maybe I I really don't know like what else to try, you know what I mean? I really don't know what else to try with it. We could try building like a different house and like experimenting with like different shapes. Like a part of me is tempted just to break this whole thing apart. Like let's let's just yeah, let's bring it all down, right? Like who needs it? Who needs any of it? 
If it's not working, it's not working. Uh, let's just take it all down. Let's go ahead and eat. Uh, being on fire is is obviously bad. Uh, and let's try let's try the whole building thing again. Let's just like try to start from scratch here. Uh, so foundation. That part we didn't have a problem with. Uh, I would like to make it like you know more than one panel. So we, we do that, that's fine. Uh, maybe if we make it just a little bit bigger, like uh, just a square, maybe the pieces will will snap better. Okay, we gotta gather some wood. And again, we are overburdened here. I really wish our build menu could access our chests. It's a little weird that it can't. Alright, so that, that's fine. All that is fine. No, it's doing the same exact thing, guys. That's so messed up. It, it doesn't care, like, what we do. It's so strange. Down here, it works fine. You know, but, like, once we get it up here, it only goes the one way. Oh my god, is that is that a bug of some kind? Yeah, may, maybe it's like just some kind of bug. You'd think we could hold it right here. Like in Valheim, I could aim at this. At the very corner. And then it would snap to. But not in this game. Yeah, it, do, it doesn't want to snap that way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need help on that, guys. I'm going to need some serious help. Uh, because, yeah, I don't... I don't understand like at all it's like it's going the wrong way <laughs> for it to be a functioning roof like we need it to be going like the other way and it just can't oh my gosh it's so odd yeah we're gonna have an incomplete house for now I, I can't I can't think of anything else that I could do with it like we can put it we can put it here like we, we just we can't complete either side and I have to be able to to complete a side of it like this one's perfect and it doesn't matter like which way we approach it it doesn't matter if we're like on the outside the inside it just like snaps to in such a silly way Like boom, that's what we need. And then as soon as it gets to the snap on, it just it just flips it. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Is there anything else that we could do right now that we can actually succeed at? Uh the the pale workbench. Okay. Let's see. Uh we didn't learn that yet. That's in our tech tree. Um, or maybe we did learn it. For some reason I thought I saw it. 
I thought I saw, oh here we go, pale gear workbench. Okay. We need wood and we need cloth. Can we make some cloth? We can. And our weapon is busted. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is like if, if we can't sleep, am I, am I going to be able to save the game? How does the game save? <laughs> I don't know, and I, now I'm very scared. I'm very scared that, uh, that because I can't build some kind of roof that I'm never going to be able to sleep and that the game isn't going to save. Because I, I don't see, I haven't seen an autosave happen, and uh, I'm, I'm getting really, 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 really concerned. So we, we have to figure this out. We have to figure it out, like, right now. Like, I, I have to find a way to create some kind of roof, because I, I have to have a bed. I have to make sure that this saves. Maybe there's, like, a simpler way to build a roof. Maybe I'm, like, overthinking it. I, I can't seem to get the roof tiles to snap to anything. That's part of the problem. Here we go. We'll just make it. We'll just make a flat roof for now. Yeah. Okay. This is not ideal. Like I don't like the look of it. But if this is what works, then this is what works. Because look, we're not gonna have any problems with this. Uh, I realize I can do continuous build. At least I think I can. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can. I can keep this panel out. Okay. Cool. 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 So <laughs> disaster averted. We we can actually build a roof. It's not the roof that I want. But it's the roof that I deserve right now, because I can't figure out how to be a competent person at house building. <sighs> Let's see what sleeping does. I I'm not sure what's going on behind us. Um... Okay, we, we are sleeping. I, I move and it, I get up. I don't know if like actual time passed. Like I don't know if I actually slept. So there's that. Uh, let's see. Let's do our base upgrade. We need to build an egg incubator and build a crusher. Okay, uh, I probably want to... Probably want to catch some uh, more chickens, right? I only have one. We have we can we have another slot if I want to go capture something else. Uh, this requires they must have harvested this because it requires planting again. So somebody must be 
harvesting this and carrying it over to the feeder. We should check the feeder in a minute to see how much is actually stored. I wonder if eventually we'll have enough pals with enough different abilities that like basically everything we want to do will be automated. Yeah, I think they have to be transporting it here because we didn't put all this here. So they must be doing it. Uh, I should probably equip my my spear. So I haven't done that. So that takes the place of the wooden club. I also need to check out what this is. So we don't have any recipes for pale gear yet. Okay. Hunt. Okay, I didn't see you there. And if I want to build the shield, I will need some more wood. All right, guys, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take a break right here for today. Uh, I think next time we're going to go out and we're going to catch some more pails. And we're going to keep working on the objectives. This guy's on fire. Oh, no. We're going to keep working on the objectives that let us grow our base. So building a crusher, building an egg incubator, that stuff is going to be next on the list. Uh, now, that being said, we don't have those things right now, so I, I have to imagine that they are going to be somewhere here. Um, wooden furniture set, egg incubator. We have to get down. We have to get down to level seven. So I have to level up my character, I believe, uh, to get a little bit further down. The crusher is level eight. So okay, so we have a couple of long-term goals, and I wonder if doing some other stuff in the meantime. Uh, could be a good idea. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear your thoughts on the game. And if any of you guys know how to make the <laughs> the slanted roof tiles work, I would love to have your advice on that as well. If you're digging the series, leaving a like and subbing to the channel, especially leaving a like on a, on a video one in a series, really helps me out a lot, and I appreciate those that do. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, that's the error. So that's fun. Thank you guys very much for being here. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.